and the Rockies take the lead. Carmelo Anthony to foul the opening, and it's put down. Anderson had a pad down on the ice. The Broncos will have the football. Denver touchdown. Colorado Sports Connection. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Colorado Sports Connection. We're coming to you from the Pepsi Center, where the Denver Nuggets open up their season against the Utah Jazz. And we had an opportunity to talk with a very special guest, Dikembe Mutombo. Dikembe talks about his career after the NBA. I'm serving right now as a global ambassador for the game, uh, like a sort of a special assistant to the commissioner. Right. Uh, keep me busy. <laughs> Um, I'm out of the house a lot, uh, traveling and be out for the commissioner um, to develop our game, to see our game grow worldwide, to make sure that the message of our game and our contribution to the community around the world uh, still having an impact. Um, last week I was in Haiti uh, where I went to see the impact of the earthquake and uh, to see the NBA contribution to the effort of the rebuilding AT has taken place. And those are the things I do. I travel, I go to China, India, and Africa, and Europe. Sometimes I get a little bit tired, but uh, mm -hmm. it's a job. And I enjoy it. Um, I'm here tonight to, to start a tip off for the season for the game. And I get in the, in the Utah Jazz. It's good. And it's always good to stay in the spotlight. And, right. um, <laughs> trying to inspire so many youth. You know, we have so many young guys are playing in the NBA. They have to know that uh, when you retire, you always have to have that plan to what you're going to do. And I'm glad that um, I'm doing something positive. Any chance you, uh, any chance you come back to Nuggets in some capacity? <laughs> no. Nah. Uh, I love living home. My wife will kill me and my children will cut my legs off if I'm trying to do that. Uh, they're happy already with uh, what I'm doing uh, in New York. But um, I'm happy with the, the Nuggets and what they are. But I'm happy where I am too. I have a strong bonding uh, with this organization because this was the organization that gave me the opportunity to play in the NBA. Um, the way it did, I have so many good times here in my first five years. So I always uh, recap myself and uh, all those great moments that we have here in Denver. And Matumbo goes over to swat it away. Kendall Gill, Matumbo again. The darlings of Denver, the Nuggets, walk off the floor, stretching the series to five. Another block from Matumbo. This crowd stunned right now. Matumbo embraces the ball in the unlikely upset. One of the great upsets in NBA playoff history. My decision leaving the Nugget was it was based on the organization decision for not saying that they didn't have a cup room to sign me for what I was looking for. It was not really my own personal so decision. Of course, you know, matter of fact, uh, Jim Gillian and uh, I, the trainer, was talking about uh, the beautiful house that I did build here in the city that I didn't live in. <laughs> and uh, that was another regret that I always have, that I put a lot of effort to build this beautiful home that I was going to make my family a home. And uh, my wife and I didn't live there. So. Was, that a, was that a tough day when you knew you were going? It was tough. You know, when you will establish yourself somewhere for five years and you create a great bonding with uh, the fans, the, the city, uh, the city official, and um, especially youth. You know, I was so good with young people here in Denver with a stay in school program. And uh, it was very sad the living. It was very sad. And uh, I'm glad that um, I still did maintain my love friendship with so many people in the city and uh, including people in the organization who did understand that it was not my own decision but also I still have a lot of fans here, the people still love Mutombo and uh, they continue to thank me uh, for everything I did while I was here in the city I was on a flight yesterday from Detroit uh, coming here everybody on the plane was like oh thank you so much for everything you did for us while you was in Denver and that made me feel so good about it and I was like 
this is what you want to hear. Even though the fans loved me a lot today, but it was also a lot, people was a little bit disappointed. Uh, maybe uh, they didn't understand what, what went wrong for Dick to uh, end up leaving uh, the city of Denver. I think it was just a... Uh, Took some time. I think, um, I think Bernie didn't give this, the fans a good explanation, so the, the, the entire blame was on me. And uh, I ended up taking a lot of blame. That's why it was hard for me, maybe in my face, uh, five, six years even, to take a trip here in Denver. Even just a regular trip, even with my children. To, uh, but and, uh, it took a while for me to, to heal myself out. It's a, it's, a great, it's a big process. People think when you leave the city where after playing five years, you just leave because of mine, but there's a feeling inside of you that you have to heal yourself in like a wound. Yes. And uh, it, was, it was hard for me, it was hard for me. And uh, I don't want to see so many guys today in the league go through that. We'll be right back with Takemi Matumbo right here on Colorado Sports Connection.